Hi. <coughs> Today, I am going to speak about the line of Langhars. This line of Langhars are named after the Australian scientist called Carl Langhar, who identified these normal skin crazes. These are the normal skin crazes in a cadaver in the year of 1861. These are also called as cleavage lines, Langer's line of skin tension or Langer's line itself. These are nothing but parallel to the natural orientation of the collagen fibers in the dermis or as well as underlying muscle fibers. So these are skin lines, skin creases which are parallel along the direction of the collagen and muscle fibers. Knowing the direction of Langer's lines within a specific area of the skin is important for the surgical operations, particularly for the cosmetic surgery. Just if you follow the incision along or parallel to the line of Langer's, we can get a better cosmetic results after the surgery. Parallel to the Langer's line may heal better and we can avoid the formation of colloids when we follow these lines. Some regions of the body, there are difference between the different individuals. So these line of Langer's may not remain same for the each and every individuals in all part of body. There is bit difference between the crassils lines which are the normal physiological lines <coughs> in a living person. See this is about the line of Langer's. What are this? Just I would like to summarize the thing. These are nothing but the normal skin creases along the direction of the collagen and uh, muscle fibers and these lines the idea of these lines is uh, given by Dr. Mr. Anatomist Carl Langer in the 1861 and if you follow this we can give the better or uh, uh, cosmetic outcome as well as surgical outcome so this concept initially brought by the Langer in the year of 1861 so if you go a bit earlier like what the Shushruta has told nearly about 2000 to 5000 BC. In his Shushruta Sutrasthana 5th chapter 7 shloka he has told Anuloma Shastram <coughs> which means along the direction of the hairs if along the direction of hairs if you take the incision that means he says along the direction of hairs you are supposed to take the incision so that will help us to have a better outcome and in continuation of this he says in Shusuta Sutrasthana 5th chapter 14th shloka Bru Ganda Lalata Akshipute Ashta Danta Oshta Kaksha Kukshi Vankshana Pradesha that is that is respectively eyebrow, cheek, forehead, eyelids, lips and armpit, abdomen and pelvic regions you have to take Thirrek Cheda means oblique incision and in Pada and Padeshu, Pani and Padeshu that is foot and hand you have to take a incision in the circular manner whereas in Gudha and Medra that is inner region and genital region you have to take half moon shaped incisions so this is nothing but the concept of the physiological skin crazes so which has told nearly about 5000 years back by Shushwata, a Indian ancient surgeon. But still we are calling after the name of Carl Langers. So this is about the small introduction about the skin crisis, physiological skin crisis, that is nothing but the line of Langers.
thank you thanks for watching my video if you like to have a uh, message with me then you can follow me in the instagram and you can also follow me on the facebook whose link is given in the description of this video thank you thank you one and all for watching my video